When I was younger, I was just really insecure and I was bad. And it wasn't a bad because I was just a bad person. It was a bad because I just didn't see life outside of where I was. I thought that college, I couldn't go to college. I had bad grades, not because I couldn't do the work, but because I chose not to because I didn't know what success was and how to achieve it. And so instead of hoping for something I didn't have a reality about, I just set myself up for failure. And then Al Hooks came, he was an engineer at Caterpillar and he showed me that I could go to college. Uh, another lady, Catherine Tim, she took an interest in me and she was working with the schools and all of a sudden I realized that there was an opportunity for me and so I went from a, a student with straight F's and really I thought I was going to grow up and, and be a statistic. Maybe I'd be a welfare mom or maybe I would <laughs> be in prison, who knows? But I didn't. I, everything changed because someone cared about me. So I'm the first African American female to graduate from my university with a degree in mining engineering. I'm actually the first kid on the block, period, to go to college. I've been selected as 10 outstanding young people in the state of Illinois, 40 leaders under 40 in my hometown, 25 women leaders. I've been featured in Ebony. I've been featured in Jet Magazine. So I've had quite a career and it all started because someone took the time to care about me. And so now they pass the baton on and I'm doing JA because I choose to care about the children coming behind me. Hello, I'm here at my local Junior Achievement Office. I'm a new volunteer and I'm a little nervous. I'm picking up my JA kit and I don't know what to expect. Wish me luck. Hi, Hi Erica. How are you? Good. It's so good to see you again. Nice yes, to see you. We've well, got your kit here all ready to go. All right. Just want to show you a couple things. Okay. And make sure you know where everything is. And like we talked about, this is your volunteer teacher guide okay. and there's one for you and one for the classroom teacher like we talked about at your training okay so you want to make sure to give this to your teacher on the first day when you go in I sure will and then as you can see it tells you all the materials you need for each session clearly listed okay. gives you a breakdown of the time that's needed for each activity each session each part okay. of it and then at the end there's a nice outline of each session okay any questions so far no kit looks pretty big but I like that you lay everything out for me. That'll make yeah, it a little bit it easier. It is, and the reason we do that is so that you have everything you need to be successful, and you don't have to spend your time making copies because we provide everything for you. Okay. And then the student workbooks, too. You'll leave those the first time you're there. That'll make it a lot lighter. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Erica. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't be scared, it's not as bad as it seems. Actually, when I first got my JA kit, I was a little bit nervous because it was so big, but after going through everything, it was laid out very nicely. It helped an engineer feel comfortable getting ready to teach economics, and I'm pretty excited now. I'm headed over to the school now to meet with my class. I'm a little apprehensive. I've already had my meeting with the principal. I've met with the teacher to discuss the layout. I've done all of my pre-work, so I'm feeling really good and prepared as far as what I'm going to teach. The apprehensiveness is coming from students. You never know what will happen when you're dealing with the youth and what type of questions you'll get hit with, but I'm really hoping that I'll make a good impression. Hello. Hi. I'm Erica Barrett with Junior Achievement. I have a class today. Okay, would you mind signing in? Sure. And I'll get the teacher that you're signed to, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. Hi. Hi. 
Thank you, Ms. Erica Bayer. These are the students at the Knoxville Center for Student Success. They're very excited about junior achievement, and these are the students you'll be working with. I could tell by how quiet they were that they were excited. <laughs> how are you guys? Good. Doing good. good. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about Junior Achievement. Do you guys know much about Junior Achievement at all? No. All right, basically, I'm a volunteer, and what Junior Achievement does is it works with the teachers and with the schools to help teach students about economics and business, not only in their lives and in the nations, but also worldwide. After the class, several of the children came up and talked to me and asked me some serious questions about college and careers and were really interested in what we're going to do next and asked some information about the JA paperwork and what they were supposed to do with it. The one thing that I would do differently next week is bring in one of the more rowdy students and one of the calmer students and try to balance out they're helping me with lead the, leading the class or helping lead the discussion and then rotate from week to week and have different students get involved so everyone feels like they're a part of it and it gives them also a feeling of leadership. It's my last Junior Achievement class today. I'm excited to go in and teach the class, but a little bit sad because I grew to care about all my students, so I'm going to miss them. But it made me want to sign up for another one, so I'm looking forward to that one. Hey, you guys. Nice. Looking good, Rakia. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, today, you guys can tell I have been studying hard for this class. But today we're going to look at risk and risk aversions. The biggest challenges I encountered through the past six weeks was just battling with pneumonia. I had it and then the principal had it, so I missed a few classes and having to call the school and reschedule and get that organized. In the process, we lost students, new students came in, so trying to bring the new students up to speed so that without losing the current class, so those were all challenging. Do I think that I made a difference? I think I did. One, I called the principal just to check in to see how the students were behaving and Cody was one of the children when I first came in he was so challenging but he went from bad grades to high grades he sat with me after class and talked to me about college and what his opportunities were and I saw another student comes and he talks to me all the time about potential for college so they weren't thinking about college when I showed up and they're thinking about college now Miss Erica has told me that now I can go to college and make money and not have to do it illegally. And now I can, as long as I try hard in school, I'm gonna be making a lot of money later on instead of, instead of just dropping out of school and then maybe getting arrested or go to jail. Erica shared some stories about how she was getting bad grades and, and she found a class to help her with it. Somebody talked to her about it and now she's talking to us, and we see how much her life's changed. I want my life to change. I want to get better grades and go on to college. I have a good life. I think what I'll miss the most about the program and the kids is one, it's weekly, so it becomes a part of your routine. And two, just forming the relationships, even though they are challenging. I'll give you a perfect example. One of the girls, she acted like she didn't want to participate. She acted so tough and hard and something told me, don't check her, just watch her. And as we went along, I found out she couldn't read. And one of the other students started reading for her and then she became an active participant and she came every week and now she's in reading classes. The time and preparation that you put into it, it's all worth it. The program, again, is excellent. I, I actually learned a lot and I, I teach that class at church on budgeting, but it just gave you a different way to look at it, a way to make it fun and real at the same time. And the tools were all provided, so I didn't have to go figure out how to make it exciting. It was already exciting when it came to me, so I really loved working with J.A. 